Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can activate and turn on your Galaxy S20 refresh rate at the option of 96 Hertz. Now, originally you're only able to go at 60 Hertz or 120, and these are able to be toggled and switched when you're on the display quality of FHD+. Now that's the same when it comes down to the 96 Hertz, you're not able to have the WQHD resolution at 96 Hertz, but it was talked about and rumored of of this little setting so I'll show you how you can turn this on and add it as a quick toggle inside of your little quick settings on the top. Now, if you're brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is promo, and if you appreciate this video, if it helps you out, make sure you hit on that subscribe button. About 83% of you watching this video are non-subscribers. So make sure you join this little party right here. It is free to be subscribed. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications for all future notifications. About 16% of you have hit the all option. I just want to make sure that you guys don't miss out on any future updates. Now, before I show you how you can add this little quick setting on the top, let me first show you how it works and that it does actually work you'll actually kind of notice that there is a small little flicker you'll only notice it with the camera above your human eye will not be able to notice this but you can see how the refresh rate here is going to be a little bit different than the 120. now when we go over on this one right over here you can actually do a test so for the screen refresh rate test head over into this ufo test and then inside of here, uh, do a little double tap. It'll make it smaller right here, but it can actually run the entire graphic. And when you look right over here, you'll actually be able to see what it is running. So when we zoom in a little bit, you can see that this one is gonna be right around that 96, 97 Hertz, and it is correct. Now let's say that we bring this down a little bit. We're gonna move right over into that 120 Hertz. You can see that flickering has gone away. So you can tell from the camera that it is a little bit smoother. You can actually see the 120 right there for the, for the frames per second and then 120 Hertz for the refresh rate. So we're gonna zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better. So those toggles do in fact work. Now, if you do want to toggle this on and you wanna get it activated, uh, which is technically the purpose of this video, so if you do want to get this activated, just make sure you follow along with these steps right here. I'm going to do it on the Galaxy S20 because I don't have it turned on just yet or activated. So what you want to do is you can just simply search for S20 96 Hertz app. Now this will take you over into a Sam mobile website, but what I'll actually do is I'll link below the video this little link that's down over here that says that you're able to download the app from here. So this will link you over into XDA. I have a few friends over at XDA. Uh, they put this one up about a month ago. And so all you'd have to do is hit on this little download button. Now you do have to be a part of XDA Labs or XDA developers to actually get this. Now you just have to join in, get the newsletters, things like that. If you already have an account, you log in. If you don't have one, you actually just log in right here. It's very simple stuff. So I'm gonna log in and then we'll go through the next step. Now you might get a notification on the very top letting you know that it is complete and if for some reason you don't see that pop up, just head over inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of my files, and then you wanna go inside of downloads. Now this very last download is gonna be right here. You're gonna use your regular package installer. Now yours might not have that additional little pop up, uh, but mine does just because of a, a cloud storage device I have. Anyways, this is where you go inside of settings. You wanna make sure that you can turn on allow from the source. It's a way that you're able to install unknown apps from either my files or from the internet. So now you just wanna to go to install. Then once it's installed, you can actually just hit on done because the very next step is because you can't really open it. It's not like a, an app that just sits on your screen. It's actually gonna be on the very top. You pull down twice. This is where you go inside of the little new option for your button order. And then over inside of here, you can actually scroll on the very top and you can see some very new uh, icons that you've never really seen from before. Now, because these may not be something that you need to change every single day, all the time, um, I'm actually just gonna place these ones on my second page. So I'm gonna go 96 Hertz. I'm gonna set the 120 Hertz, hit on done. Now we're gonna move right on up. Uh, so just so you can see that this is just the regular, normal little settings tab. When you pull down, this is where you can actually activate the 96 Hertz right there. You can start seeing it kind of fluttering, little flickering right there again. Your human eye will not see it but you can also switch it right over into the 120 if you want. Now, as I've stated from before, to make sure that this actually works, you do have to make sure that you switch your resolution of your display. 
So go inside of the settings and underneath display, you're gonna go down and make sure that the resolution is on full HD plus. Uh, it's the middle option. Again, it kind of helps with a little bit of battery versus the WQHD. Uh, the 120 hertz and 96 hertz refresh rate does not work with the highest resolution. So it is kind of nice that you do have a middle option here. And then now on the very top, you'll have this middle option. Again, it's not the 60 hertz and it's not the 120 hertz. So you're not going to be using the most battery life there. So it's kind of optimized right here as a really good option. Uh, but again, if you do want to test to make sure that this does actually in fact work. So let's make sure we pull this down. We are inside of that 96 hertz. Then now that we're inside of here, just go inside of a Google search real fast, head inside of that screen refresh rate, and you wanna click on this UFO test. And then over here, just kind of do a double tap, making sure that the graphics go all the way across the screen. And then as you look right over here, you will notice that it will work with that 96 Hertz. Now, the only thing I have to say, and I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but if you are using an older phone, any phone that is not the Galaxy S20, I get asked all the time, will 96 Hertz, will 120 Hertz refresh rate work on the Galaxy Note 10, S10? No, it will not. It is a hardware based, not software update. If you saw on a software update and it says 120 hertz, it does not work. Even if you try to get 96 hertz to work on your screen, it again will not work. It is hardware based. All of the phones before the S20 is all set at the uh, 60 hertz refresh rate, not at 96 or the 120. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,